Oh, good morning, domestic goddesses. How are you this morning? I've just come up to get the um, laundry to do the washing today and just doing a bit of tidying up and it's already warming up where I am here in Brisbane. So I thought I'd just pop in quickly and show you my um, linen closet, how it's nothing fancy or there's no particular folding method followed or anything like that and we just keep what we need. So I just um, turn the camera around. So um, I was actually remembering it though, um, when we bought this house there was no linen cupboard and all we had was a wardrobe with shelves in it and that worked quite well so um, it wasn't until after my son was born, my second child, that um, I just happened to be sitting on the um, toilet one day and I looked straight ahead and I saw this space in the wall that wasn't being used and we were in the process of putting a um, built-in cupboard um, in the room behind this wall which is my daughter's bedroom and um, when I asked the uh, wardrobe makers and they said uh, the built-in cupboard makers they said yes it's quite possible so this became um, our linen cupboard so um, at the top there you can see I've got um, just a couple sleeping bags and quilts and um, sort of cotton blanket type things um, there's just our sheets. We've got a second set for um, We've only got two sets of sheets for each each bed and I don't follow any particular method for the fitted sheets um, I just fold them um, All the um, Pillowcases are here and I do like to try to have iron pillowcases. That's just um, a, one of a funny little fussy habit of mine, but it doesn't always get done. I just fold them straight and um, use them. I've kept my daughter's um, nappies from when she was born and they make great cleaning rags. I've got cleaning rags and face washes and um, in these two boxes I used to just have um, a basket here uh, that I had on my doilies and um, things like linen. Um, I've got a lot of vintage embroidered um, face napkins or serviettes I guess and I do use them um, I've made some but also some have been made by um, grandparents and, that, and I, I do use them from time to time so I just picked up these two cheap um, containers with lids just keeps them all together um, the next shelf down is just our towels and our mats mats for the bathroom and the um, front and back doors. Uh, I think I've got six s sets of towels, two um, in each colour. Some of them, <coughs> I think these two I've had since my early 20s, so probably 30 years ago, and they're still going strong. They're a little bit faded and marked in, in spots, but they're still absorbent and they still do the job. And one of these days, um, when the children move out, I'll get some nice, lush, soft, fluffy bath towels for my husband and I. The next shelf down is just um, beach towels. Some are in the wash. Um, here I've got a um, collection of uh, cushions, handmade, and uh, cushion covers, I mean, um, that I've got from op shops just if I want to change the look of a room um, and here I've got all my tablecloths I do use tablecloths um, but a lot of the vintage ones I've parted with so many over the years but these are just some of my favorites and whether I reuse them in another project I've got some projects lined up to make use of them but I'm just still finding it really hard to cut into them but I still use them on the table uh, down here is um, where I keep toilet paper. That basket was only bought at an op shop. And it, I used to just have the toilet paper in the plastic wrap that it came in. And then my husband was doing a tidy up of the shed. If I decide that I don't want to use a basket anymore, I just put it in the shed and think, well, I'll use it for something else eventually at some time or another. And he said, I'm going to get rid of all these baskets. I said, well, hang on, I'll grab that one for the toilet rolls because we've got a split level home so um, we've got a toilet upstairs and one downstairs 
so that's for the toilet rolls there's some um, my little cleaning caddy um, I just usually mainly mainly use water for cleaning some duster and microfiber dusters and that's the <clears throat> I've got two of these little brooms um, dustpan and broom sets one for upstairs and one for downstairs but heaven only knows where the broom is at the moment so um sorry I'm just wiping the perspiration off it's so hot up here here in Brisbane already so that's just a peek inside my linen closet it's nothing fancy it's nothing base it's just very basic nothing matching um, it all serves a purpose and does its job just for what I need so so I um, I just thought I'd show you that and I'll be popping in um, for the next two weeks showing you other areas of my home I'm off to put the laundry on now and finish doing the rest of the housework and um, have time to enjoy the rest of my weekend so I hope you do too and I'll catch you again soon bye